Well, hello everybody and welcome back to my small farm channel where today I think I'm getting started on uh, creating, we'll call it version one, of my lawn riding lawnmower cultivator. Uh, it ain't pretty, but I backed this crafty old thing up here and uh, grabbed a nearby pile of lumber. Literally, it was all piled up quite close to where I parked the riding mower. Played a little jigsaw game, and this is what I came up with out of, well, what was in that pile. These uh, are remnants from an old aquaponic garden idea. Didn't quite work as well as I would have liked because winter in Manitoba. Uh, however, what I'm thinking here, and I'll show you this as I go along, is I'm going to get a whole bunch of decking screws, bringing them, bring them up this way. It's only going to give me about two and a half inches of you know, agitation to the soil, so it's not going very deep, shouldn't mess with too many worms or anything. Hopefully it will pull up some grass and uh, maybe the occasional stone, we'll see. But anyway, I'm going to drive those through at all kinds of random angles and locations in these five boards. Then I'm going to flip this whole thing over because it's sitting on a couple of shipping boards that I had kicking around. And I'm going to attach this to the center. Again, this is all still you know, like a plan, right? Good solid support, good solid support. Maybe just drill a hole through there for now. Rope to rope. We'll put some weight on here. Drag it behind the lawnmower, weather permitting today. And um, yeah, we'll see if it can even pull this. We'll try adding some weight. You know how I mess with things. We'll just see where it goes. So I gotta run into the house, get my tea and some tools. And uh, yeah, I think as crazy as this looks, this might actually work for my most basic gardening needs. So the wind is picking up and the rain is just starting. It's a mist at the moment so the camera can still be outside. I'm going to keep working away on this and uh, I'll get you updates as I can, weather permitting. Slight change of plans. As I was blasting away on that first decking screw, my uh, screw head gave out. Turns out I don't have a replacement in that size. Rummaged around, found a bunch of roofing nails. <laughs> I, I, I don't expect them to hold. I don't really expect these planks to last long either. I mean, look at that one already. But, I have a good stable platform here. And I'm standing on only like two of these boards. I weigh 200 plus pounds. So I could probably put some decent brickage on there if the lawnmower can pull it. So, I guess the next step from here is I need to attach that sucker. Well, I managed to get two lag bolts through that big old 2 by there and into those shipping boards, but it damn near killed my drill. So, I'm going to uh, test the theory with that. Now, the next part of this is that I need spikes coming out into the ground. I've got a couple of options. I've got a whole bunch more of them roofing nails which aren't terribly long and won't stick out of there very far but should work to at least clean up the driveway. In theory, this is driveway. This is also part of the driveway and it looks terrible. So, you know, even a half an inch left sticking out on those nails could potentially clean up this area if not rip up a garden bed. I do have more of those lag bolts but I just don't know if the drill's ready for that. You are on a take a break program, my little friend. So take a break. So you can see I used um, no actual sort of pattern blasting those nails through the boards. These are totally temporary. If this concept works, I'm gonna replace them with something longer and sturdier. And I also really should have done that center board before I attached my pulling beam. So yes, if these edge ones work, I'll take that off and redo it. Ah, evolving ideas as you go along. So I'm going to see if my drill still got any power left. Can try and drill a rope hole through that. And then I think it's basically ready to test. If it works even a little bit, we carry on, right? All right, that old cordless seemed to work for that, but it is not a happy drill. I figure that's probably going to be rope enough for this. Yeah. Tie it up and test it, I guess. Okay, so if you look carefully, I just tried dragging this by hand, and you can see a few places where those little nails may have made some ruts. I could just be fooling myself, but it kind of looks like there's a rut there, rut there, rut there. 
So I'm already thinking longer spikes, but I was already thinking that in the first place, and probably some weight, but I've got to tie it up to the lawnmower, see what happens. Maybe I can have a nice looking piece of driveway back here. All right, so our next clip here is probably going to be kind of loud. This is not a quiet old mower. But the questions now include, will that pathetic knot hold? Will that pathetic rope hold? Will these questionable old nails hold? And what's going to happen? But I'm going to try going up this strip here, see if we can pull some weights. All right, so I've just got this old beast in one. Slow and steady is what that does best. An awkward angle to film at, I would think. All right, so the rope held, the boards held, the knots held. That all surprised me a little bit in and of itself. Looking back here, I can definitely see lines. I hope they're coming up in the camera from those nails, but um, they're not deep. They did not move a lot of weeds by any means. But they did move some. We can see, you know, the tips were bouncing in there. We pulled some rocks forward there, pulled some rocks forward there. Kind of leveled things out a tiny bit. So the idea has merit. The device, I think, needs weight and longer spikes. But so far, the lawnmower is able to pull it. So the weather's getting a little more severe. I'm going to have to wrap this up for today. I guess in the next video, hopefully, I'll be putting some longer spikes on this, figuring out some weight, and actually managing to clean up at least a little bit of our driveway area. Until then, thanks for joining me here on my small farm channel. I really do appreciate the time you spend with me here. And uh, yeah, I guess there's biogas projects and little lawn tractor projects and all kinds of interesting projects going on these days. So stick around. So I guess just for curiosity's sake, as we're putting this so-called tool so-called away, let's take a look. I mean, it did. It definitely pulled up some weeds. Oh yeah, I'm on the right track here. I'll be driving the wrong vehicle, but I'm on the right track.